Hello! It has once again been several months since I last posted a YouTube video. I have talked about it pretty much in every YouTube video I've made over the course of the last, like, eight, nine months. I don't even know how long it's been. Um, but I just have been going through a lot and, like, my mental health has been kind of ass. But it has gotten significantly better recently, which is so nice. Very good for me. Very happy about that. And I kind of wanted to dip my toes back into making YouTube videos, so I had to sit down to paint this for this month's Patreon print, and I figured I would just set up my camera and record it. One, because I feel like every time I do a gouache piece, I regret not filming it because I always love how my gouache work turns out. I love the medium as a whole. It is so beautiful. I love the way it looks always really happy with my gouache pieces however they just take absolutely forever for me to do it takes me multiple hours of sitting down just straight up painting to do gouache pieces so like it's a big commitment therefore i don't do it often especially recently because i haven't really been feeling art lately um but i figured i would just set up my camera and record because one like i said i always regret not recording gouache pieces and two on top of that i've wanted to kind of get back into the rhythm of things which again I've said this with every single YouTube video I've made, but I feel the most passionate about it right now than I have in a very long time. Does that mean I'm going to be posting every week? Highly unlikely. I would, I would, with much confidence, probably say absolutely not. But I would like to get back to a somewhat regular schedule, especially because, like, I feel like mentally I have, I guess, settled down is a weird way to put it, but I feel... I feel pretty good right now. I feel like I've sorted out a lot of things that I had problems with in my life and a lot of them were external factors and a lot of those things were a mental illness. Um, but I feel like that has kind of evened out. Um, I'm going to snap back to the painting real quick though. Like I said, this is for this month's Patreon artwork. I asked my patrons if they wanted me to do a like happy themed bright colored clown or a gloomy clown because I knew that I wanted to do something clown themed and they voted for happy so that's what we ended up doing. As you can see here, I literally just restarted the painting because I was not feeling it. I really liked the colors that I ended up choosing. I was really happy with a color palette of like a nice light blue with yellow and orange mixed in. I think that's a gorgeous color palette. So I was like super happy with that. The problem is I didn't think too much about color placement for the original piece. So there were a couple of things going wrong with the original piece. The like scarfy bit, the like neck piece, I don't even know what it's called. I wanted it to be white and I ended up painting the shadows and then kind of painting the whole thing. And so it ended up way darker than I wanted to. And then because I didn't plan out the colors well, I got kind of lost and I wasn't super happy with it. I ended up adding red as a last minute ditch effort to be like, maybe I can make this better. And I absolutely hated that. On top of that, while I was painting the first rendition of this, Fiora was on my desk that holds like my camera mount because I have two desks in my office space that are like my desks and I have my art desk and my computer desk and my com my camera is mounted on the computer desk because that way if I'm like shaking the art desk it does not shake the camera. Fiora was bouncing back and forth between the desks. She kept shaking the camera. I was like already having a bad time mentally because I'm like this painting isn't turning out the way I wanted it to um, and she like just kept bothering me which was I guess overstimulating me and I was getting really upset. So between the colors being what they were and uh, that cat situation being what it was, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna take a break. And I came back to it and I just restarted. Recently, I've been doing pretty much all of my sketches for finished pieces in Procreate and then transferring them to traditional work with a light box. It is so nice, highly recommend, because it's so much easier to like play with traditional sketches and then you can flip the canvas and see if anything's wonky. Um, so I've been really enjoying doing it like that. So it was very easy for me to just retrace the actual original sketch onto a new piece of paper that way I didn't like lose it or anything like that. So I started over and I was so much happier <laughs> like right from the get go because I had already seen where I guess I made issues in my first rendition of this painting. So with the second one, I was like, I know what to do. Like I know where I'm gonna put the darker colors. I know where I'm gonna put the lighter colors. I am not gonna put red because I really didn't like that. There were also a couple of smaller things that I was dissatisfied with in the initial painting. I went in with her hair color being a bright yellow and I really regretted that once I started laying other colors down. So this time around, I went in with a more like orangey toned yellow hair, a more like, I would say natural, but it's still very like 
comically yellow, um, but you know what I mean. And I was just like so much happier with it. However, I did in fact get hate crimed by my cats on other occasions through this painting process. Um, at different points in time, both Aslan and Fiora stepped in my paint palette and then stepped on my desk and then they got gouache everywhere. And I had to like panic, pick them up and take them to the sink to wash the gouache off their paws. They both did that to me. Um, pretty sure Aslan and Fiora also both stepped on the painting at multiple points in time. It was like, thankfully it didn't really do any damage. The only thing that they did to the painting itself is there is the, I guess like tiniest smudge of a paw print at some point on the page, which I think is actually cute because it's like a little, a little collaborative piece. It's cute. Uh, so I didn't mind that part. Initially I was like, y'all, like, what did you do? It's like, a I don't even know what they stepped in, what color, whatever. It's like a little brownish smudge on the right side of the paper. I, I don't know when it happened. It just appeared there eventually. And I was like, okay, that's definitely like a cat print. Thanks guys. Uh, so it was an experience painting this, but I had so much fun. Like I said, I love working with gouache. Art has just been like super overwhelming for me recently and I haven't had the energy or motivation to do it, which another thing that I say in every single video I've made, but uh, my mental health has been doing significantly better. I have been regularly seeing a therapist for the past couple of months and I cannot stress how amazing she is. She's just really easy to talk to for me more than anything. Um, and for myself, especially, I've talked about this on Patreon, but I'm the kind of person who, when I have like negative emotions, which obviously happens a lot as a person, um, I don't like the way they feel, obviously. So I subconsciously like just don't address negative emotions, especially when they're involving other people because it just brings a lot of conflict into things. So a lot of times I'll just kind of swallow the way I feel and not really understand that I'm feeling upset or like, I don't know, very unhealthy coping mechanism, courtesy of childhood trauma. So we love that. But uh, I think like the biggest important thing in positive experience I've gotten from therapy is just on a weekly basis, addressing the way I feel, breaking down the way I feel, taking notes and kind of going through that. And even just verbally saying things out loud to my therapist has been so immensely helpful and she's so validating and wonderful. And it's just been a really, really good experience for me. I've had a lot of life changes in the past year or so, and I will definitely be having a lot of life changes in the next year or so, but Especially in the past like 12 months, I really haven't done anything art-wise in progression of YouTube, my online store, like anything like that. And I really, really desperately want to get back into the habit of doing art and doing shop updates on a regular basis and all that kind of stuff. So I'm really hoping within the next 12 months I can have like growth on my YouTube channel. I can have growth in my shop and my stock and the things that I've made and all kinds of fun stuff like that. I am definitely feeling a lot better compared to where I was at like six months ago, eight months ago, etc. So really hoping for a lot of positive change in my life because 2023 was supposed to be a year for me that was like so much good happened. You know, last year was like the big bad happened repeatedly. It just kept happening, the big bad. Um, 2023 was supposed to be like everything's better now, which I know is like kind of ignorant, uh, but I was really, really hoping for it. And it definitely has been like an interesting past couple of months, but I feel like I am doing so much better. I am doing so much better and it's really nice. Um, as far as other updates in my life, the cats are doing great. All of them are doing absolutely wonderful. Um, Aslan specifically has zero teeth now. He's had three or four dental surgeries in the past like eight-ish months. Um, so he has been a very expensive boy, a very, very expensive boy. He kept having issues with his teeth. And so we made the executive decision to just pull all of his teeth. So he's just a gummy old man now. It's actually insanely cute. And hopefully he won't have to go back to the vet for a lot of stuff. We're still like figuring out his thyroid. I don't know if I talked about that in detail. He has an overactive thyroid, so he's on medication. He is my special needs little old man. He is expensive. I have to give him three different kinds of medicine. Two of those is twice a day. He's a needy little man, but I love him with all of my heart. So like, I do not care. But yeah, 
that's kind of a little wrap-up update for myself. Thank you guys so much if you're watching this video for keeping up with me. I know my posting has been so, so erratic, but like I said, I've just been going through it. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in snagging a print of this piece, it'll be available on my Patreon for the entire month of March. So if you pledge to my $10 tier at any point in time through the month of March, you will be sent one of these lovely, lovely clown gals in the mail. So thank you guys so much for watching and keeping with me. Hopefully I will see you guys and talk to you guys within the near future. My goal is for in the next month, but every time I make a goal, I do not get there. So it's a loose goal. I'm not gonna beat myself up if I don't post a video in the next month, but I sure would like to. So we will see. Thank you guys so much for watching.